Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with more Akinthop Isle. I am here at the home of William Chedward Rimmer III, and we're going to be doing an extra long decorating video today. I'm going to be decorating this house from top to bottom because I am in a decorating mood. Now, before I do so, for those of you guys who are new here to Akinthop Isle, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of where this house is, sits in relationship to the rest of the neighborhood. This is the college area over here. This is Barrington Hall. And over here are, is University Four Square, is what this is called, this area here. These four little lovely uh, buildings. This is uh, the different classroom areas of the college, of the university. And this is the Humanities Building, this is Healing Arts, this is Sciences, and this is Communications. In the back of University Area, behind University Area, we have the Farm Area. You can just see it back there. If I scoot over a little bit, you can kind of just peek uh, some hay bales over here <laughs> through the trees. And here's the Farm Store, and here's the Farmhouse. These buildings over here are student housing for students who are lucky enough to not need to live in the dorms. And this is the University Bakery and Cafe. And Cecil's house sits at the far end of Prominent Way. And his house is right next door to what I believe will become the mayor's house. This is a very old house, one of the first houses built in Akinthop. And this is Cecil Barrington's house. And his parents are the ones who gave the money to build the dorm. So that's why it's called Barrington Hall. Behind uh, Prominent Way is the Council Hall. And there's the Commons, the gathering place for everyone. Uh, the local park, I should say, or the main park. And then this is Akinthop's little schoolhouse. And then just down there you can peek are the um, beach condos. So that's where everything sits. And also Prominent Way has a really nice view of the uh, train which heads to the mainland and you can just peek Sovereignty Isle over there. That's that bit of land jump jutting out of the ocean over there. And then beyond Sovereignty Isle is the mainland. The mainland, in my imagination, the mainland is about uh, 50 minutes by ferry um, or train, basically. I imagine, I don't know, would a ferry travel slower than a train? I guess it depends on the weather. Anyway, yeah, it's about 50 minutes away. So let's see Cecil's house. See, uh, Cecil. I keep calling him Cecil. William's house. Let's see William's house. So William's house was given to him by his mother in her will. And William is a huge mama's boy. Huge mama's boy. And so um, I think this is basically a somewhat of a shrine to her i don't think he would have changed much of the house since she passed on i believe her style is kind of um i'm going for an art deco kind of old um not new modern fashions of course uh, fashions furnishings but uh i've already started in on the kitchen and just a bit here on the living room and I apologize for those of you guys who are waiting for the first episode of this new season of Akinthop's Let's Play to come out. That was a mouthful. Uh, I was having, am having, I don't know if I'm still having, we're going to find out. This is a test run. Um, and hopefully it will be able to, it will work and we'll be able to put this video up. But I'm been, I have been having terrible problems um, with the graphics driver. Um, and getting it to run with Sims 2 and I was getting uh, some terrible crashing and blank black screens and um, anomalies and so I have troubleshooted it troubleshot it troubleshooted anyway <laughs> I have worked with it this afternoon and this evening and I hope it is fixed I have stress tested and by stress testing what I mean is I um, went through and tried to break it basically I went into the game and I you know, went to a community lot and uh, we went to Hazel's Hell Hole and then I like would zoom in on things that were really graphics intensive, like this fountain, for example, when it was running. I'll show you what I mean. So that, you know, requires a graphics card to have to build a couple, you know, work, work a bit. 
And so I just tried to basically get the game to break and I couldn't. So hopefully it will work for us here. Anyway, let's go over and pick a couch. I have the idea of what I want here for this place. And then over the mantelpiece is going to be the piece de resistance in that Cecil's going to do a picture of his mother just as she would have been in life. Yes. Um... Uh, just trying to think of how I want this. If I have it like a couch like that. I want to thank you for watching. And I want to also thank the viewers who mentioned to me how essential the quarter tile cheat placement is. This is what's allowing me to make this small, tiny little adjustments to the, to the couch. It's set quarter tile cheat on. Uh, let me see. Set quarter tile placement on, I believe it is. Google it, quarter tile cheat. I may be saying that incorrectly. Hmm, yep. And then let's get two chairs in here. Anyway, it allows you to, once you press the control F key, it allows you to set things on a quarter tile of the grid. So you don't have to have, you know, that age old problem of having your couch here and then your, you know, two tile coffee table over here because you can't get it to center because it's two tiles and this is three tiles <laughs> so yeah pain in the rear this couch is by Adele by the way Adele uh it's which set is this from doesn't say uh but I believe this is part of a set that's available on mod the sims and by the way she's one of those uh custom content creators who's so good look at that texture Look at that. Oh, lovely. Adele is, if you ever watch this, Adele, I, I am in awe of your work. You have done an amazing thing, uh, amount for our, our games. You just have been amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. So, um, let's see what we have here. I'm hoping to find a good lounge chair that doesn't look too cheesy. I don't have anything from Adele in here, so we're gonna have to mix and match. If not, I can go for a side chair, but I would prefer not to. Mm. Haven't really got much that will work. That might. And... So these are... This is going against my normal way of, of being because... <laughs> I like to have things nice and straight, but I'm I'm just gonna go weird here. I'm just gonna live on the on the wild side. As always, I want to test while I'm I'm designing things to make sure that it can be used. I'm going to turn off my Sims autonomy for free will off, so that he doesn't go wandering off. And then I'm gonna have him sit in this chair to make sure that he can get into it and that it's usable. And he comes prancing over. William is definitely the type of Sim who would prance. <laughs> okay, so he has to go around this side, but I don't really care about that. And then let's see. Nope. I was trying to see if I could get him to lean back. Or take a nap in it or something. But I haven't got that option because he's not tired. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that's that will do nicely. Kind of, yeah, that's great. And let's see what we have on this side. I'm thinking a um, a table like a telephone table here, and I'm thinking something that will match the table I have. Now that will probably not work because that will confuse Sims. It's a dining table. And uh, I'm going to see if I can go for a... Ah, perfect. Nope, not perfect. <laughs> perfect. Not, not perfect at all. No, not perfect. <laughs> That's not the right type of wood, but let me see what other recolors this, this one has. One 
one of the complaints I hear so much about uh, Sims 2 is how it's so annoying that you have to download a gazillion recolors for things. I agree with that, absolutely. But um, it's a small price to pay to not have to bother with the the Sims 3 annoyances. But I will admit at times like this that I do wish that I could color it exactly as I wanted it to be. You guys definitely lucked out there as far as... Mm, see, that's a little big. I was hoping for something more like a tiny table. <clears throat> Let's see what we can find. I'm feeling just a little bit under the weather, which I normally do not like to mention if I don't feel well on camera. But I'm letting you know because that's why I'm kind of clearing my throat here. So I'm trying to find a kind of tall, thin table. I say this so much, but you have 11 gigs of custom content, you can't find anything. <laughs> you just can't find that one thing. <laughs> so annoying. Um, this is the same type of table as this one here, so it carries through with a the theme. Um, and it's a little bit off-center there. I think that might work. I was hoping for a taller table for some reason. Let's see what the windows look like. Yeah, see, it's a bit low underneath the windows. That's not gonna do. That's not gonna do it. Um, okay, so my other only other choice is a tall, hopefully thin, two-tile dining table type thing. This is two tile here. I'm going to keep that as an option. The reason why I'm not immediately going for it is because it's a little, it's still a little bit too wide feeling to me. Mm -mm, not the right wood type. Some of you may remember uh, Piggy Sims, P not the hair creator. She was a recolorer. Her name, uh, her name is spelled P-I-G-G-I, -G -G -I, Sims. Yeah, see, I'm looking for something, for something more like this that looks like a sideboard. Um, and she was a great uh, recolorer. Woo, that's a bit big, huh? Don't think so. I think not. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll find it. Don't you worry, you guys. If this is totally boring, uh, fast forward. <laughs> but I like to think this is, oh my gosh, that is one crappy texture. Oh Lord, I'm really sorry to the creator, I apologize. <laughs> but that's terrible. <laughs> What's one of my rules is to not, try not to say disparaging things about creators uh, on camera because they're, they're giving us free content, I mean. You know, if it's not the best texture, we all started somewhere. Okay. I feel it. I'm getting close. I feel it. I feel it. That's too modern. She's more old school. Watch me go through every single thing in here and then finally settle for the table I picked first. <laughs> They'll just take my shit off. Excuse my language. Woo. That's a great way to start season, uh, season two with a big... S-bomb in the middle of the thing. <laughs> That's another thing I try also not to curse on, on camera. I just failed. Anyway, but yes, that will irritate me. <laughs> oh, that, see, something like that, except the right color. That's perfect size. Doggone it, no recolors. Oops. Oopsie! That's a little plain. Um, once again, oh, wait a minute, back up, back up. Bingo! <laughs> and this is yet another Adele piece. Yay for Adele! Thank you, Adele. Yep, that's just the right color and everything. Look at that. Beautiful. Just the kind of old, old kind of but still almost st stuck between Victorian and uh, Art Deco type thing. Okay, 
perfect. Um, so let me take these stairs out of here. And I apologize for swinging the camera around so fast. I'm always trying to watch myself, keep myself from doing that. Now, this is the one I was using. Let's go in and see if we can't find something a little bit more fancy. That's too modern. And let's see if this is... Oh, that's... Um, marble. No. I don't think I want marble. Let's see. No, I don't think so. This is not really a marble house. So what are the choices do I have here? Recolors of this. Ah, oh, there we go. So this house by Plastic Box had a uh, stairwell in where here that she had managed to... I don't know how she did it. I could not recreate it. She had a stairwell coming down in front of this door here so that you could just walk under the door to go in. And and I couldn't... I couldn't... The door wouldn't work, and I could not recreate how she did it. Uh, even using move objects on and the meager building tricks that I know. Okay, so we have a nice uh, living room forming here. I'm going to change out this uh, fire place and see if we can't get something with a little bit more art deco flair that matches the room that we are in. And actually, before I take this out, let me see if it has recolors. Interesting recolors, but none of them what I want. I kind of like the this look right here. It's it it works, I think. Yeah, I think it does. It even kind of matches the pillows. Um if you think this doesn't work and your head smacking right now going Jessa? Jessa, what are you doing? Jessa, no. <laughs> then uh put that in the comments. Just go Jessa, no. But look, look, it has peacock feathers. <gasps> How cool is that? Look at the peacock feathers. So, yeah. I'm going to save right now because I'm still a little paranoid about having a graphics problem happening. But so far, I've gotten some time into this and, and haven't had a problem yet. But, you know, you never know. Problem could arise at any point. Okay, so this is kind of the basics of, of the living room. We'll get into more decorating, and also I will do the walls, but for some reason I feel the need to do them last. Um, I'm going to... Um, well, let's head on to this bathroom because I have an idea already of what I'd like to have here. Hope you're enjoying that Sims... <laughs> Simlish hip-hop in the background there. I'm bopping my head. <laughs> so, today is uh, August 4th. Saturday, Sunday, August 4th, and um, I intended to have a let's live simming session this weekend, but unfortunately, both me and my husband got sick, and today I woke up feeling rather bad, so unfortunately, I will not be doing a live simming session uh, this weekend, but there will be one as soon as I feel better. And I will announce it now that uh, my plan, if you guys are interested in this, is to play The Sims 1. I have never played it. Well, that's not true. I've pretty much never played it. I've played it for about an hour. Um, and I would like to install the complete collection and get down to... I'm looking for some tile that is... Uh, Heck, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'll know it when I see it. <laughs> I think that was as close to what I wanted. I want something dark. And... Yeah, that, that is what I want. And then this woman is, the, is a clawfoot bathtub woman. She wouldn't even bother putting her behind in anything else. Uh, 
um, some really big old clawfoot bathtub. I'm not sure I like that color, but otherwise, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, that, I think that works. Is that brown and brown? It is. It'd be nice if I could find one with a wood edge. I don't even know if they make clawfoot bathtubs with a wood edge, but let's see. I mean, I meant that, and it, it, I don't know if that's something that's made in real life. Oh, that's even better. That's the one right there. I will say that with this new graphics card, my old graphics card was pretty darn good. Especially since I bought it for 60 bucks and it held up with it still going strong. It actually played Skyrim on medium settings, which amazed me. Um, let's make sure I have this in the right direction. Yeah. I'm thinking about how the Sims get into the tub. Uh, also, let me go back and look at these bathtubs for a minute because it just occurred to me that Adele... Mm. Adele makes a bathtub. Mm. This is by Buggy Boos. Oh, another one of those fantastic, fantastic Let's Play creators. Let's Play creators. Did I say that? Con custom content creators. Forgive me, you guys. I don't feel very well today. Anyway, um, yeah, fantastic. And she does things so, so, such detail. And as much as I love this tub, and I do, I think I'm going to go for the clawfoot because it's just really the type of thing that William's mother would do. Okay, let's get a sink in here. Yeah, this is perfect. Um, that's too big for the space, though. It's such a tiny room that you do not want a um, huge sink like that in here. So, let's see what I have for pedestal sinks. Ah, here we go. This is part of the Manor House set by Phoenix Fairy, available at Mod The Sims. Let me put the wall up to make sure I'm doing this correctly. Oh, hey, look, there's a uh, cloth back there. Let's move that. Yay! Let's see if that looks a little better. It's not quite the same color as the sink, and it's still very big. This is, oh, and also now that I think about this, this is a uh, diagonal door, so you guys are probably telling me that this won't work, and you're probably right. Um, hmm. Diagonal doors make things pretty difficult to, to use. My first question is, we may not be able to fit a sink in here. Which, if both of these walls here are usable, is my what I'm thinking about. So, in order to find out, you do this, the old uh, try it and see <laughs> method. That good old method called try it and see. <laughs> I think we should, you know, look at that, a trash can toilet. I'm going to use that in one of my lots one of these days. That trash can toilet is by... I can hear you guys going, Who did that? Who did that? I want to download it. It's by Evanesco. And Google Evanesco and trash can toilet. I believe it came with... A, it, I think it's over at Garden of Shadows. I'm pretty sure it's one of the gifts and one of the many contests and things that Garden of Shadows does. Okay, so this is... A manor house toilet. Uh, hopefully, let's see if I can find something that isn't gold in color there. Okay, let's see how that does. So, um, that's the next door house I'm slamming into there. I'm going to change. Oh, good! I, I got it. He got it. 
a want a want fulfilled. Okay. Guess what, William? It's time to go to the bathroom. You want to go to the bathroom, don't you? You do. You know you do. <laughs> Come over here. Go potty. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, everybody, avert your eyes. Let's give the man some privacy. Oh, hey, he can use it. Yay. You good boy. <laughs> Is it weird that I talk to my Sims the same exact way I talk to my cats? <laughs> uh, so I love you can see the shadows really well, even on this floor here. Mm. Love this graphics card. Okay, and I'm pretty sure he can take a bubble bath too, but let me just double check. Are you stuck? Nope. Okay, good. Good boy. Ah, it's a bit hot. Watch out. Watch out when you put your bottom down. Oop, oop, oop. Ah. <laughs> I love this game. I swear I love it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Moving on. The bathroom is kind of done. I'm, like I said, I'm going to do the details. Don't worry. We'll get in details. Now we have two rooms here. And one of the rooms is for a roommate who is over here in the back who's been happily reading. This is Captain Tiberius Horngold. And he is... Uh, unable to be seen. <laughs> he is right here in all his pirate glory. I love that outfit he's sporting. <laughs> he was given to me by a viewer, and I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I think it was Siri, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, um, if it was you, put a comment below, because this is my memory. I cannot remember. It's been months ago. And I got lots of different sims, and so it's hard to keep track of who gave me whom. Anyway, now uh, he, uh, Tiberius is going to have the second bedroom. But this is the master bedroom, and let's get a nice bed. Now, of course, I'm kind of creeped out about thinking, thinking about this bed, because this is the bed that his mother passed away in, but let's just not think about that, okay? <laughs> I said stop thinking about it. Cut it out. Stop it. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is go for a big old brass double bed by Ninji65. Now, I believe I may be able to get something that looks a little bit more old, antique brass, even though Ninji did a good job with that bed. Ninji is one of my favorite cre uh, ca blah, 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 creators, or she was when she created for The Sims 2. But I'm looking for something with a little bit more ornate to it, like this. This is by Holy Smoly. Holy Smoly, I, as far as I'm concerned, are the... Uh, top of the top of Sims 2 custom content creators. There's nothing that, that they have put out in the community that was not 100% top-notch. Nothing. They're very good. Uh... Um... This is nice, but it's a little bit... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me compare. I'm just thinking about Cecil's mother, what type of woman she was. I can get this one out of here. Hmm. I don't know. I wish I could take a vote right now. <laughs> but, I can't, but I can't hear you guys, because you guys have not seen this episode yet. Hmm. That doesn't feel right, but this feels too plain. I'm gonna go for this one, just because the other one just felt too plain. I'm looking for something ornate and old looking. Once again, this is Adele, this bed. And it is the Xavier double bed and her, from her Xavier set. Most of Adele's set is, uh, sets are available on Mod The Sims. This is also one of the more expensive beds in the game at 3,300 simoleons. Okay, I want to see what kind of colors I have here to, to choose from with this particular bed. 
It also comes with some, some uh, I believe this bed also had some great bedding with it. You see there's the kind of old aged look that, that I was hoping for. Oh, that's good. That's, oh, look at that. Um, I think that one. Yep. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, and then let's work on this bedding. That bedding is not quite suiting me. Let's get closer to it. So, uh, a question for you in the audience. One of the reasons why I love watching Let's Plays is that it, it's very soothing. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm saying yes to this bedding. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping, I'm, you know, if you have uh, fallen asleep to one of my Let's Plays, do not mind letting me know. I think that would be fantastic that I could soothe someone to sleep. Um, I doubt it because I'm too, I'm so yappy yappy. <laughs> but hey, a girl can dream. Um, that's too gray. I'm thinking of lace, and I think I have some good laces down here at the tail end of the bedding section. Do I have enough bedding? Um, pff, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I have like 500 bedding sheets. Okay, I admit I have a problem, okay? I admit it, I admit it. <laughs> Okay, but I know I have some lace down at the tail end. Is that scooting me all the way back to the beginning each time it does that? It better not be. It looks like it is. Well, son of a biscuit. That's neat. It's a little bit off-center, but neat. Some of this bedding, most of the time I try and keep very good track of my bedding. I really do. Uh, of all my custom content. But yay, this is what I was thinking down here. That's neat. Um, but there are some some of these <laughs> some of this uh, bedding in here, I, I honestly do not know where I got it from. It sort of appeared in there. <laughs> you know, I, I'm totally not responsible. It wasn't my fault. I had nothing to do with it. I don't have a problem. That'd be great for a girl's room. So, cause, so some of these... Next thing to do is to kind of figure out this area over here. I think I'd like this to be a um, place where he keeps his desk. It'd be great if I had a huge octagonal, oct octagonal, octagonal desk. Octagonal. Ah, that's it. Octagonal. And then I'm going to go down here and grab the floor. But just for um, some different color choices, I'm going to just slightly change the tone. And go for something of just a little bit different colored here. This uh, floor tile is part of the Studio K Synthesis floor set. The one I have downstairs is in Root Beer. And then the one I'm thinking about putting up here is in ink wash, and I think I'm going to use that. Okay. 
and then once again, I'm just going to basically repeat with, with down here the same exact uh, furniture layout. Although this... Um, rest of the room. You know, I could really use some recolors of that sink. That recolor isn't working. Let me delete that. It doesn't work for me because the um, fittings are different colors, as you can see, from the bath, but it's the only choice I have. There you go. There's uh, my graphics problem giving me a little bit of trouble there. I'm going to keep it right on recording, but you can see that it just gave me a black flicker. But it was less than, than what it used to do, so at least I know what's happening here. It's amazing. There's my graphics card giving me trouble again. Anyway, uh, I'm wondering if I can use a slightly different... I'm going to go for... No, that's too late. Um, this wood floor, by the way, is a Peggy wood floor. Um, unfortunately, I don't have much more info. That's perfect. That real dark, rich color. Now this is, and you can see with the walls down, that this is a slightly darker wood color than I chose for the, as you can see here, than I chose for the downstairs, just to give us a different bit of visual interest. That's all. Um, and then let's grab a rug. Now I just put all that wood floor down and then I'm going to cover it up with a big old fat rug. <laughs> Makes sense. It's reasonable. That's too big. I have downloaded so many rugs and I never have enough rugs. Ne I never have enough rugs, walls, and floors. <gasps> oh, that's a good one. Okay, this rug set is a uh, part of... Well, it doesn't say. Darn it. I know... I'm so sorry. This is this is a, a rug set that came from TSR and has a, just a ton of recolors. And it's... You'll know it because it, it's, it came with many different rug sizes. Like... Any, from 2x3 all the way up. I don't do that because I would be constantly pausing recording and it would take me four times as long to get a recording done. So I do my best to tell you with within game while we're recording. Okay, uh, that's a beautiful rug. Let's get some night tables in here. And we have just about 10 more minutes left in this uh, episode. I won't be able to get the whole house done, but I'll show you how it uh, it's completed look. Okay, this is a vintage end table. And I'm going to go for this because it has, unfortunately though, these colors. This color is not quite the right color. Let's see how it looks compared to 
the rest of the room. Hmm. No, actually it works. That works for me. It's, a, it's, a, it's the same brown as in the desk, so yeah, okay. This is a, a Maxis item, I believe. Yeah, it's Maxis. It's called Vintage End Table. Unfortunately, I don't know which, uh, which e expansion that came with. If you know, could you let us know in the comments? Thanks. Okay, let's get these evened up here. Perfect. Nice and close to the bed. I imagine that mummy would have a drawer here that opened up with all of her different medicines and unguents and salves and stuff. <laughs> um, and then let's get a chair into this desk. This will be a little bit difficult because you have to get it just right. Let me put move objects off for this. And... That's a... <laughs> I'm going for it for the shape, but that purple it doesn't work. Um. I am looking for... I might be going for Javiera yet again. I'm sorry, not Javiera. By Adele. Yet again. Sorry, Javiera. Yep. Looks like this might be the one. Let's see if I can get it to go into the desk right. This is tough because, um... I have to place it and then go into uh, live mode and if it moves, it scoots in that I have placed it right and if it doesn't, then I have not. And I have not. So I scoot it ahead. Uh, one place. Is that correct? That's a little bit off-center. There. And then hope it scoots in. Nope! <laughs> Placing things on a diagonal is a pain in the biscuit. So that was where I had it before, and that's there. There aren't any other choices. That's too close. I may have to just do take move objects off. Let's see, how do I do this? One of the ways to do this, this is a workaround that I have found for those of you guys trying to place something on a diagonal, is to go downstairs to the dining room table, put a computer down with the chair that I want uh, the, the sim to be using, and let's put a, a computer down here. Go upstairs and grab the chair that I want the sim to use at the desk. If you know of a less tedious way to do this, I would appreciate that information. And then, and uh, let me show you what I mean with the chair automatically scooting in. When I go into, you see there, the chair automatically scoots and that lets me know I've placed it correctly. Now let's have William come over here to the and have him play some game or whatever I want him to do here. And he'll finish his bath up. And also, I meant to go over here and make this fade distance so that um, I stop running into the house next door, hopefully. There it is. Okay! Hurry up, little Willy! I'm gonna cancel his bath because you're clean enough! Really? Are you stuck in the bathtub? Oh no. See, this is what I mean. Can he get out? Is he stuck? Yeah, he's just sitting there, so there's a problem. And I'll bet I know what it is. <laughs> he's like, I'd really like to get out, but I can't, lady. Because there's a sink. Yep, see? <laughs> the tile that he wanted to step on right here was taken up by the sink. Um, so I'm gonna leave a sink 
I'm not sure what I'll do about that. I'll think about that in just a minute. I think the best thing to do would just be to turn around... Well, I happen to know that... Is it there or here? Let's try it there. Anyway. I know that something can be next to the bathtub. I just don't know which which side of the bathtub allows it. So as he uses this, he is going to touch the mouse. And there's his cool little computer. Oh, oh look at he's putting a disc in. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think I've ever seen that. He's putting a disc in. Oh, look at that cool disc player. That's awesome. <clears throat> okay. You know, I don't know if anyone who played SX, SSX3, this uh, skateboarding game, or uh, what's a snowboarding game? I don't know of any, anyone who played that except for Sims. <laughs> okay, so here he is in his chair, and his hand is on the mouse. So I get a nice little close-up of where his hand is on the mouse. And then I put move objects on. And I pick him, pick his little butt up. <laughs> and I stick him in his bedroom. And then I go downstairs and I find the computer and the computer will snap into the place it's supposed to be and then I take the sim and I I'm gonna for this one I'm gonna do snap objects to grid off so that I can make sure I have them exactly where I want them to be and then hopefully and for this we want to get him get very close in here Get back here, William. And about like there. And hope that that is where he's supposed to be. Now, the way I test it is he's playing his game and he doesn't know that he's been moved. He has no idea that his reality has completely shifted. <laughs> and then I have him go here. Quit playing the game. Shoot. <laughs> and then I find that it doesn't work. Can you go here? No? Okay. So, um, at this point, I either have to decide if I want to mess around with this, um, which if I keep fiddling with it and making tiny adjustments, I may be able to get it to work. Or if I just give up and have the desk be, you know, in another place in the room, like, for example, here under the windows, and make this area a little sitting room. And it all depends on how... Um, how much energy I have and how I'm feeling. Now, since you guys know that I am feeling quite ill lately, or this weekend at least I am, I'm gonna say screw it. <laughs> In full, I don't give a fashion. <laughs> and there, simple. Okay, so that means that my um, room has, uh, my room plan has changed. And over here, I'm going to have, uh, in this nice little corner here, I'm going to have some sitting chairs. Perhaps his little library will be there. So we're coming up on uh, about 50 minutes now for this episode. I'm going to pause recording here. Put some lights in would be nice. And when we next come back in our next episode, I will show you the completed house. And then... We'll see if William is in the mood to perhaps go on a little date. We'll see you in the next episode. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below and encourage me. And everybody just bounce a little bit to that groove in the background. Mm-hmm. I swear this is a Sim song. <laughs> Simlish rapping. <laughs> and anyway. <laughs> um, and if you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe and join the party as always thank you so much for watching get every new jessa channel video right in your email inbox 
subscribe, then from your YouTube homepage, click Manage Subscriptions, then check Email with new uploads.